Hey chickies, okay today we are doing marble dot decals. Now I just wanted to clear up something very quickly before we get into the actual tutorial and that is that apparently and according to Sophia Carlson and I did check uh, that the cotton sugar on Instagram actually did do something very similar to what I had done previously. She didn't do a full nail decal but she did do individual snowflake decals so she was most definitely the first one to use a uh, silicone mat and nail vinyls so I am most definitely not the first so anyway uh, also yes you can use a credit card or um, something similar to that to scrape you don't have to use an actual stamping scraper it's just that I have a few of those so that's why I use that now some people also drew comparisons to this technique um, and the like the snap block baggy technique as well and yes that is most definitely true i've actually created sort of um, decals previously like years ago even on baking paper and things like that but i think that the silicone does actually make your job a lot easier so if you can get a silicone baking mat or one of these fancy mats then by all means get one or you know like a silicone baking tin just use the bottom of it <laughs> anyway let's get into this i really hope you like it start with we are going to create a sheer black polish because I don't actually have one so I need to create one I'm using picture polishes black and picture polishes gloss on top I just happen to have a spare bottle of that you can use any clear top coat that or like any clear polish really it doesn't have to be a top coat it's just that all the clear polishes I have are top coats so that's why I'm going to be doing that now uh, in the end I think I added 20 drops of the black polish to this clear top coat to create a sheer black uh, polish now initially I just added I think it was 10 drops and then I tested it on a piece of paper wasn't quite as dark as I wanted it to be so I did another 10 drops and then it came out just perfect exactly the, the sort of dark but not too dark shade that I was looking for Starting with my bare nail, of course I've already got my base coat on, just adding one coat, let that dry and then I'm adding another coat as well. It really did need two coats. Now this is going to make you laugh. The same day that I uploaded my previous decal video using my uh, silicone baking mat was exactly the same day and I actually it came after I uploaded that video in the mail I got the Simply Neat Miracle Mat. I never asked for it, I didn't know I was getting it, I thought I was getting some more Simply Peel and some of her fabulous oil, but this came in the mail. So yay! <laughs> um, now uh, just let me tell you that if this hadn't have come I would have continued to use my silicone baking mat with no problems at all. Uh, I don't think there's any real point of difference except for this particular mat and it's different than all of the other mats that are on the market for this specific purpose for nail art and those sorts of things is um, the entire uh, mat is has a, a, a border like a raised edge around it and then there's these five circles at the top of it that all have these little raised edges around them and they're apparently really good for watercolor acrylic acetone or non acetone remover of course uh, and um, you can put glitter charms beads etc those sorts of things in there and they won't sort of slip all over the place you can see on the far left hand side it's got black and white squares for stamping light and dark colors uh, and then there's the obligatory um, sort of uh, the gridded um, finger things for guides or whatever they're called anyway so um, yeah I'm gonna use it because you know I've got it but I don't um, get things and then don't use them that would be wasteful and ridiculous so I'm definitely going to use it but for those of you who don't have one of these and don't want to buy one of these by all means just use your silicone baking mats or your silicone baking tins not a problem at all okay so moving on the vinyls that I'm using are from Love Angeline and they're these little uh, circle dots circle dot dots circles the little these, these little circles in a grid pattern they're very cute so I'm just going to peel them off or peel one of them. I'm only going to use one, don't need to use two because we can reuse them on a silicone mat. Uh, I'm going to peel it off and then place it on the silicone mat. 
Now I'm using a black and white polish. I'm using Alpio, uh, Alpio. <laughs> OPI's Alpine Snow and OPI's Black Onyx. After placing the vinyl down onto the silicone surface, and no, I have got no top coat on underneath it, there, and I wouldn't advise that you do that. Um, if you're going to use vinyls on the silicone, don't, just don't, don't put a top coat underneath because it'll just get all stuck and be really annoying, so don't do that. Uh, and as you can see, I, I've done it exactly, pretty much exactly the same way as I did it using the uh, colours from the you know with the mermaid one that I did the other day uh, and just sort of mottling it all over the place and then using um, like a scraper. The scraper I'm using is actually not a stamping scraper it's something that I use um, it's actually something that came with my phone my phone case actually so yeah it's just the same size as the credit card. Once you've scraped the excess polish, you want to go ahead and remove the vinyl straight away and then you can replace it somewhere else on the mat, which I'm going to do because we're doing two uh, nails today, the two middle nails with this design. And then you just go ahead and do it again. Simple and cost effective. Remove the excess polish from around the sides of the decal. I just use a little bit of sticky tape. It's very easy. You saw me do it in the previous video. I didn't film it for this one. And then I'm adding a coat of picture polishes looking glass. The reason I do that is, well, I, the reason I'm not using sesh beat and I'm using looking glass instead is because it's a much thinner top coat and uh, just works better. So you've completed that step, you want to wait. Go and make yourself a cup of tea. You want to wait for it to completely dry. You do not want to try and get it off when it's even sort of half dry or anything like that because it'll probably rip and you know come off all gloopy and yuck. So you want to wait for it to be dry. So make yourself a cup of tea. Now once your decal is taken off the uh, silicone mat, I do suggest that you try and trim it down to just slightly uh, larger than your actual nail. Now I did do this in my previous video but I forgot to mention it. I'm adding another coat of Looking Glass by Picture Polish to my nail just to give something, um, well give the decal something sticky to adhere to. Now I most definitely could have cut this one down even a little bit more because even though um, I, I did cut it down, I didn't cut it down enough so there was still quite a, bit, uh, quite a bit of excess to cut to sort of get rid of. I have the sides taken care of, I'm going to cut the excess off the tip of my nail and then use a file to get rid of the rest of it. Next I'm repeating the same steps on the middle nail. And finally I'm adding a coat of sesh feet as per usual just to smooth everything out and make it make it last. And that's it for this one. I really hope you like it. Please don't forget to use my hashtag on Instagram Tamlook T-A-M-L-O-O-K so I can see any recreations that you do. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I will see you next time. Bye chickies. Oh and thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.